How about you order a sex doll? Ex post from Notho Girls Work. The Oxy B. One. I make a very intimate post on a tarot subreddit about something I'm going through in a tarot card. That has meaning right now, too. Someone messages me unsolicited to ask for a tarot reading. 3. I am accommodating but realistic about my availability. 4. Beggar becomes choosy. You gave me 5 euros. Now please come with me to the bank and pay my rent. I am still laughing whenever I think about this story. My BF was in the city, spending some time window shopping while I was at the hair saloon, as we wanted to go out in the evening. He was dressed especially nice for the occasion. A lady approaches him then and asks in very bad German for money. It is a known fact that there are certain groups in the streets that do that professionally and they usually have a baby or a dog with a or impair themselves and also dressed in rags to drive home the point that they are in need. We usually offer to buy them something to eat and they usually refuse. They want the money only. So BF offers to buy her food. She refuses and says, Gel bit. Money please. And starts to tear up and shows him her baby. Almost pushing the little bundle into his face to make him look. Again he offers her to buy baby formula and some food. But she insists on money. As he just did not feel like discussing anymore and just wanted to get going. He finally gave her 5 euros. As soon as he did that, she smiles at him and says, More please. Hungry, again showing him the baby. My BF is a real sucker for babies and she sniffed that out I think. He refuses and tries to leave but she follows him, grabbing his arm and getting really upset. He tells her that he does not have cash on him and that she should let him go. And this is the part where I start laughing when he told me afterwards. She started dragging him in the direction of a bank, telling him something like no rent money. Baby cold, you pay rent, please eh? All the time while he tried to free his arm without hurting her. She did not let go, even started crying again, and somehow also the baby started screaming then. I really think she pinched it somehow the poor thing, until my BF felt so overwhelmed that he just ripped his hand away and scurried off into the sunset face with tears of joy. I love that man, but sometimes he is just too nice to people and lets himself be dragged into things he does not want. I told him now repeatedly, don't let strangers touch you, like he were my child. He swears until today, that he just does not know what happened back then. He was overwhelmed, confused and guilt-ripped at the same time. Ah, thanks for the backhanded gift, I guess you can have it back. So my Bill is constantly doing shit like this but he bought me a Star Wars knitting set. Cool, except I don't know how to knit. But I'd be willing to learn. He was standing there as I was reading the box about how it supposedly comes with everything. As I went to go say thank you to Bill, he said, now I want all the Siths done first and the Jedis. I would like them as soon as possible too. Since you're not working, and you don't have anything better to do, I'm sure you can get one or two of these done in a day. That made me pissed, man. I have a dog and a full schedule at home of cleaning up after my family. But that doesn't matter. I don't know how to knit. Not interested in learning. So thank you for the gift but no thank you. If you want them done ASAP you better start learning to knit. Thank you for the mass email.
like choosing beggar in a lost redditor all in one. She wants someone to work from 8 to 5 every day, including weekends, for $80 a week. The original choosing beggar. This son of a bitch is thirsty but refusing to drink water and keeps asking for Nuka Cola in a fucking nuclear wasteland. CB wants my adult coloring book for 9,000 exposure bucks. CB student wastes my time. This happened a few years ago and is a rather long story. I used to be a teaching assistant. Ta. For a very popular university class. The professor was very nice and laid back. Usually his course was a dream to teach and study. For the course there was one term paper, one exam and a small weekly assignment that had to be done. The weekly assignments were pretty easy. All you had to do was do the assigned readings and write one to two pages on how the readings could be used to answer the question posed for the term paper. It was easy marks and really helped students prepare for the term paper. These assignments were to be handed in during the hour-long group study sessions lead by me and the other TARS. Just for reference, study sessions were for group discussions. It was a safe space to talk about work and readings, as well as ask questions and prep for the exams and term paper. Enter CB. She was 15 minutes late for the first study session. It became a trend, and later when I sat down to mark her first assignment it was unreadable. So was the second one. She had literally just copied the first two pages of some readings and had changed every third word by using a program that spits out synonyms for words. In case you don't know, this is still plagiarism. Monsieur, she got a zero on both and I sent her to the professor. He was nice and gave her a second chance instead of reporting it to his higher-ups. Her next assignment wasn't plagiarized, but it was incomplete. It literally stopped mid-sentence. After that poor attempt she would either hand in rubbish or not hand anything in at all. About halfway through the semester I decided to call her in for a chat. Cause she was failing terribly. I gave her, along with everyone else in my group, a chance to redo some of their work. I also offered her a one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions to help her. She was thrilled and we decided to set a time by email. I let her choose the time, while I picked a public place to meet. As an aside, I should add that this meeting, as well as the remarking of any work would be done on my time and I would not be getting any pay for it. My department had very strict rules about how many hours Taz could work, but I cared for my students and often did extras on my time. Anyway, the day of the meeting arrives and I show up early. She was supposed to come by at noon, but she's a no-show. I wait an extra half an hour before I leave. Four hours after standing me up, she sends me an email telling me she couldn't make it cause she had a class and she tells me that next time I need to meet with her, I should pick a time that is convenient for her. I was pissed. To top it off, she didn't redo a stitch of work. Several other students did and I got some chocolate so thank you for the extra help. Fast forward a couple of weeks and it's a week before the exams start. The term paper and all the assignments have been handed in and semester marks are up. I have one last study session to discuss the exams with my students. CB comes to class a full 45 minutes late, does not contribute and just sulks. After class, as I'm about to leave, she stalks up to me and literally demands that I give her another chance to redo her work. 
I almost laughed. There was no way she could redo several weeks' worth of work and a term paper in less than a week. I of course tell her I can't accept in any late work at this stage, because the semester marks are already in. I also point out that there is no time left to do the work. She won't accept no for an answer and just keeps on ranting about how she deserves another chance and how busy she was and how she had no time for all the work. In the end I lose it and tell her that I gave her several chances and I'm not willing to give her any more. After I leave I decide to stop by the professor's office and tell him about what happened. Turns out I wasn't the first person she approached. She emailed him and made the same demands of him as year she claimed I was incompetent and unwilling to help her despite the fact that I had numerous emails where I offered her help. The professor told her to go to hell, because he already knew about all her transgressions. Gotta love those weekly TAR meetings. To make it worse, I found out the next day that she'd contacted a few other TARs and had spun some sob story to try and get them to accept her work. They all backed me and refused. She ended up failing the entire semester. I expected her to make a formal complaint, but luckily she never did. CB demands free drawing for his birthday and says I should hurry. When I give him the drawing he complains. Link to drawing I made him in comments. Real friends don't beg but strangers do. Old lady demands free therapy dog. This guy wanted to advertise on my Facebook group. Looks like Gearbox likes to pay in exposure. They will touch them this year. A friend of my friend's wants a free PC upgrade.